Dogs give us so much unconditional love and ask for so little in return that it's tough to put a price tag on that kind of loyalty. However, some people manage to ask for incredible sums of money for their dogs, whether because they come from specific bloodlines, receive special training, or require astonishing medical knowledge to create. You might not be able to afford these pooches, but subscribing to The Richest is free. And by turning on your notifications, you'll receive non-stop entertainment, which is almost as good as unconditional love. Cloning We've all lost a pet or two that left a deep well of sadness inside of us. It's likely that you found yourself desperately wishing for your old friend back and wished you had the power to do it. Well, it turns out that the secret to bringing your old friend back is a ridiculous amount of money. Dr. Philip Dupont was 70 years old, but instead of worrying about his own mortality, he was worried for his dog Melvin. He paid $100,000 to have the Doberman Catahoula mix cloned and ended up with two puppies named Ken and Harvey. The cloning was done by the South Korean company Suam Biotech Research Foundation, who says the procedure is actually pretty simple. If you can afford to drop a six-figure amount on a dog, they'll convert a tissue sample of your pet into a culture and inject it into unfertilized eggs from a surrogate. Nine weeks later, a litter of cloned creatures has arrived. Although Melvin has since crossed over the Rainbow Bridge, his expensive doppelgangers are alive and well. Dupont claims that they act the same as his beloved Melvin did, and they've been no small comfort to him and his wife. Trilingual when we think of qualities we look for in our pets, we may consider loyalty, intelligence, and strength. Being trilingual generally isn't something we consider as essential in a dog, but for the right price, it's possible. Harrison Canine is a training facility located in South Carolina that raises and trains an elite force of German shepherds that cost more than some houses. For an investment of $230,000, you can have your very own exquisitely trained dog. Harrison K9 once trained dogs for law enforcement before discovering that there was a market for the ultra-rich to purchase the most talented dogs around. Naturally, the dogs are taught to protect their owners and take down any potential threats at any cost, but they learn other skills as well. They're taught to get along with children and other animals, making them the ideal companion for times of peace or times of violence. All of the dogs are imported from Germany and are taught commands in English, German, and sign language. They practice their skills in offices, vehicles, city streets, and of course, yachts. This way, they learn to avoid distractions in all possible situations. Tibetan Mastiff Tibetan Mastiffs are natural guard dogs that are used by tribes in Tibet to protect their livestock. When you want a dog that is willing and able to safeguard sheep from wolves, leopards, bears, and tigers, you know that dog isn't going to be cheap. These dogs are intelligent, strong-willed, and bond closely with their owners. Because of this, they are incredibly popular and people are willing to spend huge amounts of money for them, especially if they have unique features. One red Tibetan Mastiff sold for one and a half million dollars. When he was purchased by a clearly wealthy businessman, the dog named Big Splash was only 11 months old. The breeder who sold him estimates that the new owner could easily recoup his costs by offering a stud service with Big Splash for $100,000 per session. But the owner has no interest in making any little splashes and instead he intends to allow his rare and unique looking dog to live in the lap of luxury. Another businessman purchased an even more expensive Tibetan Mastiff than Big Splash, which was golden in color. This flaxen haired dog was bought for an incredible $1.9 million. Hulk Weighing in at 175 pounds, this pit bull named Hulk is one big dog. His owner, Marlon Grennan, claims that his dog is capable of snapping a man's arm in half like a toothpick, but only if he was commanded to. Grennan runs Dark Dynasty Canines, an intense training program that provides protection dogs for the wealthy and powerful. Although dogs that have gone through his program fetch a higher price, Hulk's puppies sell for about $30,000 each due to their famously huge father. A recent litter of eight puppies sired by Hulk would cost an estimated $500,000 if they went through the Dark Dynasty canine training program. During the program, the dogs are taught to attack and release on command, and some of their training techniques look like something out of an action flick. The dogs learn how to leap over and on top of cars in order to eliminate threats to their owners. It's important to Grennan that when his dogs aren't in a life-threatening situation, they are well-balanced family pets. He claims that Hulk doesn't get phased by things that might upset other dogs, and he gets along great with other animals and Grennan's young son, Jordan. War Dogs Crying havoc and letting slip the dogs of war sounds awesome until you realize that these are some expensive dogs we're talking about. While some famous war dogs such as Sergeant Stubby or Smokey the Yorkshire Terrier were able to pull off heroic feats with no war training, most soldiers would like a little more reassurance. 
Being a war dog is no easy task, and about 45% of all dogs that try don't make it through basic training. After learning on basic obedience, adapting to military life, and learning when to bark and when to stay silent, the dogs move on to more advanced training. All dogs learn some measure of controlled aggressiveness, meaning that they are ready to attack when their handler gives the command. Some dogs learn specialized duties such as standing sentry, scouting, or sniffing out mines and bombs. Training just one dog in these duties can cost about twenty to forty thousand dollars, depending on what type of job they are trained for. Despite the high price tag, these dogs are worth every penny. They're ninety-eight percent accurate in their detection abilities and can easily end up working twelve-hour days. Some dogs even receive expensive equipment such as GPS devices, bulletproof vests, night vision cameras, and doggles, which protect their eyes from sand. Trivia time! If you're a fan of classic paintings, you might recognize a rare breed of dog called the Lao Chen. These dogs are known for their agility and their unique hairstyles, but their name has a specific German meaning. What does Lao Chen mean? Keep watching for the answer. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel these small dogs might be unbelievably cute, but they also come with a hefty price tag. Early in the 18th century, John Churchill, first Duke of Marlborough, raised small red and white spaniels to hunt with. The Duke's estate was known as Blenheim, and so the Cavalier King Charles Spaniels became known as Blenheim Spaniels. In 1926, several breeders wanted to go back to basics and breed dogs that were more like the original Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Just as the breeders were getting going, World War II threw a wrench in the plan with wartime hardships causing people to focus on things other than breeding small toy dogs. By the time the war was over, only six Cavalier King Charles Spaniels were known to exist. Coming from such scarce stock, you can imagine the myriad of health problems that these dogs suffer from. Despite their small size, they typically live under 10 years before succumbing to heart problems or other health issues. These dogs can cost around $3,000 for just a pet quality pup, so why spend that money on a short-lived dog with health issues? These dogs are known for their incredible temperament. They are playful, affectionate, and bond strongly with their owners and other pets. Great Danes just looking at the sheer size of a Great Dane can tell you that these dogs are expensive, based on their food bills if nothing else. Top quality Great Danes renowned for their size and temperaments can cost up to $3,000. These dogs were bred to hunt big game such as deer, boar, and bear. They would grab the prey and hold it until their owners came to finish the job. Towards their humans, they are known to be incredibly affectionate and love to be physically close. Perhaps that's why the Great Dane has a long history of being spoiled. In the 17th century, they were allowed to sleep with their lords and were outfitted with gilded collars. For one of these big dogs, you need a lot of space, and such accommodations typically aren't cheap. One woman who chose to remain anonymous wanted to create the ideal playhouse for her pair of Great Danes. To ensure only her dogs are allowed inside, the house is outfitted with a retina scanner. Once in the house, the dogs can lay on their sheepskin lined, temperature controlled beds, relax in an 18 inch deep spa, and watch dog friendly programming on a 52 inch television. Housing your dogs in the lap of luxury like this will set you back about $382,000. Chow Chow the Chow Chow is an ancient breed of dog that is highly revered in its home country of China. These dogs can be easily recognized by their fluffy appearances and distinctive blue, black, and purple tongues. They tend to be suspicious of strangers and fiercely protective of their owners and property, making them incredible guard dogs. Naturally, Chow Chows are quiet and well-behaved, but they tend to be stubborn when it comes to training. You might be tempted to cuddle one because they are just so cute and fluffy, but these dogs can be aggressive if not trained properly at a young age. Many famous people have chosen Chow Chows for their companions over the years, including Elvis Presley and Martha Stewart. Even Sigmund Freud had one named Jofi who attended his therapy sessions with him. If you're looking for one of your own, you can expect to spend from $3,000 to $8,500 per puppy depending on the quality of the dog. Samoyed Another adorably fluffy yet outrageously expensive companion is the Samoyed. These dogs were bred for herding and are named for the Samoyedic people of Siberia. Those fluffy white coats do more than look cute. Samoyeds have a double layer coat. The long coarse hairs of the top coat keep the soft warm bottom coat clean and free of debris. Despite all their fur, they produce less allergens than other breeds and some people consider them hypoallergenic. When you look at a Samoyed, you can't help but smile because they look like they're smiling back at you. But the shape of their mouths is a deliberate feature of the breed that prevents icicles from forming on their faces when working hard in freezing climates. 
Even if they're not working to keep livestock in line, their herding instincts mean that they tend to herd other animals and even children. In addition to the dogs being useful, their fur has uses as well. Some people use it to knit and claim that the texture is similar to angora fur. It can also be used to create fake flies used to lure in fish. Starting a dog sweater and fishing lure business might help you pay off the cost of your Samoyed, since these dogs can cost $4,000 for a pet caliber dog and up to $11,000 for a show quality one. English Bulldog They may not be as fluffy as the Chow Chow or Samoyed, but the English Bulldog is just as distinctive in its own way. Their popularity coupled with how difficult they are to breed ensure that they command a high price. English Bulldogs generally get along well with children and other animals even if they can be a bit stubborn at times. Many people have fallen for their distinctive looks and they are the mascots of 39 American universities as well as being the official mascot of the United States Marine Corps. They have also been used to represent England or the UK and are often associated with Winston Churchill. English Bulldogs were originally bred to be used in bull baiting and early examples of the breed were much more slender and athletic compared to the stout dogs we have today. Those adorable flat faces and giant heads mean that they have a tough time being brought into this world and over 80% of litters require a cesarean section. Owning one of these dogs means making an investment of $2,500 to $9,000 depending on the quality of puppy. Do you know what Lauchen means in German? The name means little lion and to keep up with their namesakes they are often given lion trims of their beautiful fur. Which one of these expensive dogs would you want if you could afford it? Would you opt for a sweet and cuddly Samoyed, or would you take a dog that has been trained to leap over a car in your defense? To learn even more about man's best friend, be sure to subscribe to The Riches for more awesome videos. See you next time!